Today we're here with Romy in the Burlington Arcade to get my shoes shined. Um, Romy, I understand there's several different types of shoe shining we can do. Yes, um, I personally offer two types of shines, yeah. um, which is the standard. Um, that involves um, clean and polish. Okay. Um, and the premium, which um, involves clean, uh, dye around the edges, conditioner, Plus polish. I think I'll go for the premium shoe shine that way. Since I've never had the shoes I'm wearing today shined, we'll give them the full service. Fantastic. Great. First, I clean the leather mm -hmm. shoes with this liquid. It cleans all polishes, dusts, and dirt. Um, pretty much it prepares the, the shoe for, for um, conditioner and polish. I clean the leather. Okay. And then now I'm using the leather dye. It looks natural, um, and um, it it gets into the leather, so it's not like a, a plastic around it, but actually it's it soaks it, in. It soaks in. Leather lotion. Leather it's, lotion. Um, that is the one that actually replaces the the conditioner, the the fat that le the leather loses when it's dries out with the, the weight when it gets basically soaked wet mm -hmm. and then you let it dry naturally the fat with come it out. you can see a white salt line yes but actually it's not the salt of the rod or the grit it's purely the sweat of the leather that so the polish goes on with a brush the polish goes with an applicator, which is also a brush. Yeah. And uh, it's horse hair. Horse hair. As you can see, I'm uh, I'm doing circles, and I, I allow the polish to get in a, in every single bit of the, the shoe, especially underneath the welt there, around the back, making circles allows the polish to open up, and it, okay. slowly, slowly, you can see that the shine starts to appear. The right balance of polish is very important. Lots of people get greedy and put as much as possible. Yes. The more you put, the better it is. Actually, it's not. Okay. The more you put, the more you need to take out. Okay. That means more time consuming. Sure. Next time, a little bit of water, okay. which I use them on the brushes. Okay, just a little moisture. Instead of direct on the shoe. Okay. If I would direct on the shoe, it may soft it and it's not going to give me the right result. I use two brushes. One reason is for quick away. For the direction. The other way is just gives me a better rhythm when I move both hands. And with the brushes when you're buffing the shoe, you go in a, a lateral motion as opposed to circles? Um, no, you don't need circles for so buffing. So just across? Yes. You can now see you can the shine. You see the shine comes up and... Very nicely. Polish doesn't come out very easily. No. <laughs> no, as you can see. Yeah. It's this uh, I've been polishing all morning and look how less. Sure. That's, and these are actually ladies' tights. Ladies' tights. So this is the final buff. This is the final buff. With ladies' tights. So yes. all the men will be able to go through their wife's in wardrobes, just... find a pair of tights that she doesn't need anymore. And this is the final result. Thank you. It looks great. Thank you very much, Romy. Thank you. So we just finished having our shoes shined, and um, the important things to take away with that, in case you plan to take care, care of your shoes at home, is I think the most important element is using a sparing amount of polish to begin with, which you can always build up in a circular motion with your applicator brush. And also, don't forget the small tip of using your wife's used uh, hosiery for the final buff to your shoe. Also worth noting is that at a very small cost of just a couple cappuccinos with a friend, you can get your shoes very well taken care of and increase the longevity from just perhaps a year to a decade or more if you take very good care of your shoes.